How to use a pendulum. This is a pendulum. It's weighted. It will easily move back and forth with hardly any movement at all. None, in fact, which is what we're going for. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why you would wanna use one, how to use one. It's very simple, and you can do this today. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, this is going to be a way for you to strengthen your psychic ability to get answers, yes or no answers, and even more answers if you'd like, um, once you start going deeper into it. And clarity. So using a pendulum is a good way for you to connect to your higher self, your guides, God, angels, whatever it is that you believe you're connecting with. So for me, it is my higher self. So this pendulum, this is black tourmaline. This is good for psychic protection and um, any other kind of protection, really. So this is cool. You don't have to have one like this. You could actually use just, you can make one at home. Uh, if you have a string, you can put a weight on one side of it or like a, a heavy bead on one side because you're gonna want it to catch here between your fingers. So I put mine here, I wrap it around my middle finger and allow that to catch between my middle and my ring finger. I don't know if you can see this, but I tried to zoom in so that you guys can see. It's very easy to do. And I'm gonna teach you how I learned in my very first psychic development class many moons ago. So you wanna hold it between your fingers, okay? If you don't have one, you can order one, they're cheap, or you can make one, like I was saying. You just need a few beads on the bottom, probably three or four beads on the bottom, so it has a little bit of weight to it, um, bigger beads. And then just put one at the top, like I said, so it can catch between your fingers. So what you want to do, firstly, is clear your space, bless your space, and set an intention. So you want to just ask that whoever's around you, whatever you believe, for me it's my higher self, would protect the space and clear the energy in the space so that I can get clarity and I'm going to set an intention that I will connect with my higher self using the pendulum and get clear, concise answers to whatever it is um, that I'm wanting to know and or just strengthen and improve on your psychic abilities. So this is a great way to connect. If you've never done this before, I encourage everyone to do it because everyone has psychic ability and this is a great way to see the energy in motion. You will literally see it move and watch it move. So first you have to find out what is your yes and what is your no? Okay, so what does that mean? I'm going to ask my higher self, what is my yes? So you can have your elbow here on the table. You just don't wanna move your hand, obviously. Or you could hold it up, if you can hold real steady. Okay, and it will move. You can put it back to the middle if you want so it's not moving. But once you ask your higher self, okay, what is my yes? We need to know the symbol or the sign, which direction the pendulum will move when you ask this. So first we have to know what is my yes? So I would ask my higher self, what is my yes? Okay, and you will watch it start to move. So right now it's rocking back and forth a little bit you may want to give it a few seconds to get into the swing of things. You may want to ask a few times just so you have more clarity, okay? But so generally speaking, my yes would actually look like a no. See, okay, so now it's starting to do it. It's starting to go back and forth. It would go this way, back and forth, horizontally. So as someone would like shake their head, that was my yes. But for everyone else, it's different. So yours may go clockwise in a circle. Yours may go counterclockwise. It may start swinging diagonally or however. So once you find out what is your yes, and you can quiz yourself or your higher self and ask a few different things, you know, and make sure that you know that's what your yes looks like. Ask questions that you already know the answer to. 
easy yes or no questions at first. And then once you know your yes, then you'll want to know, okay, so what is my no? And you will watch it move. It's really cool. So my no is counterclockwise circle. And it's starting to do that now. And I'm talking and stuff, so I'm moving a lot. But I've done this gazillions of times since I learned this method. And it's really great for clarity. It's really good uh, if you want to just instantly connect and know if you're ever feeling alone, you know that happens, or if you're ever feeling like you haven't connected to spirit or God in a while, or you just want to know that something is there and that it's real, the energy is real. The way that the pendulum works is through your own spirit, through your soul, your higher self. Um, if you really get into moving energy, using energy healing and that sort of thing, even like telekinesis and stuff, it takes a long time, but people have moved things. I'm just saying, there's energy that we can't see. And when you see it, physically start to see it in your hand and you know you haven't moved and you know that spirit is answering you, it's life changing. It really is. It's amazing and anyone can do it. So that's just a very simple way. Okay, you get your yes and then you get your no. And then you could do maybe, I made the mistake of doing maybe. <laughs> And now it's like all the time, spirit will just be like, maybe, maybe. Because the thing is, you have a choice. You always have a choice. So sometimes if you ask a yes or no question, you'll get a maybe. So I wouldn't do that right off the bat. You may decide that you want to later on, but uh, generally speaking, if our future is not set in stone, which it's not, and we're constantly creating our own reality, and spirit wants you to learn a lesson or something, they're not just going to give you the answer. Your higher self isn't just going to give it to you, right? You're like, hmm, we'll see, maybe. So that's it. How to use a pendulum 101, psychic development. Get yours today. It's super easy and helpful. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Please like and um, subscribe. Share this video. People don't understand how easy it is. Everyone is psychic, and this is the baby step, a great way to enter into that realm if you haven't already done so. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.